Thanks to the five desalination plants in Israel, Israeli faucets have water. We're standing here in the Solek desalinization plant, which is the largest desalinization plant, not only in Israel, but in the world. You were saying that two kilometers that way is yeah. the ocean, where the water comes into the plant and goes through multiple stages to eventually be used as potable drinking water. We are actually cleaning the seawater on this area in order that the water that will face later on the membrane are completely clean and clear. We need that the water through that uh, process of treatment will be completely clear in order that the membrane will not clog later on when we are pushing the water through that membrane in order to take out the salt from the water from the sea. We have uh, five major desalination plants in Israel. The first one was in uh, Ashkelon. The second one is just here in Palmachim. The third one was uh, on Chedera. The fourth one is here in Sorek. And the fifth is in Ashdod. All together, we have the ability to produce 585 uh, million cubic meters per year. It's 40% of all the water, the potable water that is the Israeli sector needs in a year just from the desalination plants That's in amazing. Israel and just in 13 years. It's a revolution. It's not uh, less than a revolution in the water sector of Israel. Our natural resources are declining and our need and demand are raising. So the solution will be more desalinated plants and use more treated wasted water for agriculture. If we want to solve problems in five years from now, we need to work now because it takes five to six years until we'll get the first cu cubic meter from the, the new desalination plants.